Hello guys and welcome to the gaming news for the 12th of November 2021. So PlayStation 5 is celebrating its one year anniversary already. So I know that a lot of people have been having trouble still getting their hands on one. And there are reports coming out that there's still production issues with PlayStation 5. But overall, it's a, it's a console worth waiting for. I've been having so much fun with mine. I was so lucky to get mine. You know, I am very, very grateful that Lady Luck was on my side when I got it. And Jim Ryan, who is the president of uh, Sony Interactive Entertainment, has said that there's more than 25 PlayStation 5 games in the works on PlayStation, via PlayStation Studios. So uh, we will see what they have in store. Maybe we'll get some announcements during the Game Awards. And then the next bit of news for today is GTA The Trilogy came out yesterday which includes GTA 3, GTA Vice City, and GTA San Andreas. Now, the PC version has been pulled from the Rockstar Store because it's having some issues, basically. Like, people are buying it on the Rockstar Store and they can't actually play it for whatever reason. And Rockstar are working on a fix. I've been playing it on PlayStation 5. I started with GTA 3 yesterday, and it works really, really well. It's a worthy remaster of the old games, I would say. Like, you can see that they've actually spent the time to make sure it controls properly and plays properly um, on the modern consoles. Um, and to put it in perspective, um, I did play Mario 64 on the Nintendo Switch, and I had such a horrible time with it with a Pro Glide controller, I ended up abandoning the game. So, whereas this game, it works really, really well. So, um, be sure to check it out when you can. And then the last bit of news for today is a couple of updates from Twitch. So Twitch have now released an app so you can actually watch Twitch live streams via your Nintendo Switch. And they've also updated the iOS app to allow for reoccurring monthly payments. So people will be able finally to subscribe using iOS. It's been available on Android for ages, but now it's on iOS as well. So they finally got that done. So yeah, so anyway guys, that's it for the gaming news for today. Thank you so much for the new followers as always. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.